I am very happy to be talking to Martha Aladi. She's from Nigeria and involved in an organization called Women in Technology, where you're trying to promote girls to move into ICTs and have recently been involved in a project to build applications. Could you tell us a bit about that? In January this year, then, um, we made a call for girls to participate in a challenge called Technovision Challenge which is a global contest by Iridescent to encourage girls into the field of ICT and STEM. And the mobile app contest entails STEM building applications to solve problems in their communities, to um, conduct market research, to write business plan and pitch for funding. We had a hack day in January where we called on young girls to participate in this challenge. Your organization is, is very involved in empowering women in technology in Nigeria. How is that getting on? Is that working or are there too many barriers? Oh yeah, we are, there are quite some barriers um, in us trying to get as much women as possible empowered through ICT. And um, one of the barriers is it takes time for people to Tend, uh, to get to believe in your mission. Although we try as much as possible to educate the public by telling them that it's a global call and um, we are driven by the urgent need to bridge the digital divide in response to key international, um, to key international development goals like the MDGs and the WISIS target. So it's a global call. Unfortunately, it, it, people still don't get to key into this call. So that is why we try to educate them. It's a barrier that we are overcoming gradually. What would you like, what message would you like to convey to women to encourage them to consider an ICT? Something I suppose informed by your personal background. Well, ICT is a, is a wonderful field that affects our lives, our work and everything about us. And it's, it's constantly evolving. And so we need more women in this field to help us invent the future. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Martha Lady.